How did you get over a breakup with someone you thought was the one? Posting this feels embarrassing. But I don't really feel much of anything anymore. Pretty much. My ex. The love of my life. Dumped me because of family disapproval. I feel like throwing up constantly. I keep waking up at 3. 4 a.m. His face. Voice linger in my memory. It's a type of torture. To be in this state. Of knowing your perfect life together. Just around the corner. Was an illusion. Fuck this. Please. Help me. How. If possible. Can I get over this. We grow and change. Now that you are experiencing life separately you will evolve in ways you cannot imagine. Sometime in the distant future you will recollect that you once loved this person. Google them and likely realize how life took you both down totally different paths. If you are lucky you may rejoice that the path you journeyed down was the one most suited to you. Go no contact. Keep busy. Start up a hobby. Pick up an old one. Join a community group. Start an exercise class at the gym. Time and patience. This sucks I know but you will get through it. I immediately started sleeping with someone who I didn't find particularly attractive but I knew. Was interested. Did this help? Probably not. But it was more fun than crying at home. Whenever I've been in such a bad state. I flip my mental script. Instead of being obsessed over the guy I'm focused on. I start by telling myself how badass and strong I am. The one will want me because I'm awesome. The fact that they didn't means they weren't the one. Then I journal a lot about what I need to do to get my life back on track. Usually picking up hobbies I let fall by the wayside and I go grocery shopping and get all of the foods they didn't like but I do. Reading some good self-help books helps too. Me before we has a lot of prompts to get you thinking about what you want again. Time is the only healer of a broken heart I'm so sorry you're feeling this way up. I remember when my high school sweetheart dumped me just before we went off to college. I stayed in bed for the remainder of the summer and was utterly miserable. College was a welcome distraction and helped me to forget him more easily. But it took me the better part of a year to not think of him constantly. I still think about him now 20 years later and wonder if he was the one that got away or if it was just the purest form of puppy love. I promise though, time will heal you. I went batshit insane. Like legit lock her up. Throw away the keys kind of crazy. But I wasn't going to let the biggest crush of my life get away with telling me he manipulated me. Only so he could have sex with me. Took me three years and almost cost me my business. But I knew there was no moving on unless I came out on top. And boy did I have my revenge. Was it worth it? To me. Yes. Do I recommend it? Fuck no. I really lost my sanity there for a bit. Allow yourself this moment of grief. For the life you thought you would have. Then pour your heartache into a wildly different activity. Take up crochet. Learn to play an instrument. Perfect a puff pastry tart. Whatever strikes you. Something to take concentration and effort and gives you something tangible. Even if it isn't perfect. With time. You will find yourself able to dream of a future for yourself that is within your own control. And work toward it. The tease time. Talking. Therapy. Or you could go to Dua Lipa route the only way to get over one man is to get under another? I'm kind of kidding but my husband of over 20 years was at first a casual bounce relationship. Honestly. Time. It really just takes time. There's ways to make the time better. Like making sure you don't just stay alone all the time. Do things you always wanted to do but never took time for or couldn't do with your old partner. Be with family and friends. Etc. But really it's just like taking a cross-country train ride it'll be slow. But you get to where you're going eventually. Nothing helped me but time. I forced myself to stay busy. Hung out with my friends and went on dates even when I didn't want to. 
Now looking back I cannot believe how devastated I was over someone clearly so wrong for me. I'm sorry. Op. It just takes time. Maybe a couple dozen pints of ice cream. But largely time. I do find spending time with friends helps. Time is the only way. Friends and family can help speed it up. But yeah just time. Really taking the time to actually learn about yourself and your needs. We tend to feel confused about why things don't work out. But for most of us we literally don't understand ourselves enough to truly know what we want need. Any man that chooses to break up instead of defending you in front of his family is not worth it. At all. Love is complicated but learning why something couldn't be and accepting you did neither wrong helps. Heal. Sometimes things just don't work out. Time. It sucks but there's no easy answer. Self-control and time. Don't contact them for anything because it isn't worth the heartache. Wishing you the best. Just dropping a comment here to suggest our breakups and also a discord for PPL going through a break. Up it's in that sub. It helped me so much to have a community of PPL that you know are going through the exact same. Thing as you add will always be there for you and you can reach out to them anytime. Took me three months to be normal again. Not happy. But normal. Now it's been a year. And I'm completely myself again. Happier. Even. Sending love. Moved home. Melted down. Moved on. Time. It's the only thing. The only way. You might even end up surprised at how little time. But don't fret about that night now. Just take time. I was so very upset when a boyfriend and I broke up years ago. I would cry randomly for like a year. With time and distance. I see that we would not have been compatible. He came back years later and tried to get back together with me. Because he was ready to start life. Because it was okay for him now. I said absolutely not. No backward glances. If it isn't right for both of you at the same time. It isn't right. Both people need to be fully invested and involved. If he can't be invested. Then he just isn't the one. You would always be on the neglected end of that relationship. When I was very young my BF died suddenly. I was bereft. It took me time to bounce back. I met my husband and he was amazing. It was a better relationship than what I lost. Don't be embarrassed three life throws us shitty curveballs the whole time. Just remember time does actually make it better. You deserve love and kindness. From others but especially in most of it from yourself heart sending you love and all that's beautiful in this world. I just went through something similar. I was the one breaking up. But for the reason that the great partner and great future I had in mind were just not the reality. At first it feels like dying because even crying doesn't get the sadness out. But keep going. It will get better. For now though, you just have to grieve. I wish you strength and lightness. Cry. Eat. Sleep. And delete all the photos videos of them. Reconnect with friends. Take up an activity like swimming. Or lifting weights or whatever activity you like. Don't look them up online. Don't call them. Don't drive by their place late at night with their favorite song playing full volume. Yes. It was upsetting and made me think I'll never meet someone like that again. But you do move on. You were fine before them and you'll be fine without them. It just takes a really long time. You'll feel shit now. But just remember that everything has a happy ending. If you're not happy, it's not the end. Life will get better. Time is a great healer. It's like a lot of things in life. You feel like you'll never get over it but give it time and you'll slowly move on. I've been there. Other people have been there. Just don't let it consume you. There's someone out there for everyone. There's no hurry. It'll happen. Good leak my dude. Your ex is a baby and you deserve better. Would dump my family before for such superficial reasons they disapprove of my significant other. Maybe it's just me.